The history of Cambodia, a country in mainland Southeast Asia, can be traced back to Indian civilization. Detailed records of a political structure on the territory of what is now Cambodia first appear in Chinese annals in reference to Punin, a polity that encompassed the southernmost part of the Indo-Chinese peninsula during the 1st to 6th centuries. Centered at the lower Mekong, Punan is noted as the oldest regional Hindu culture, which suggests prolonged socio-economic interaction with maritime trading partners of the Indosphere in the West. By the 6th century a civilization, called Chenla or Zhenla in Chinese annals, firmly replaced Punan, as it controlled larger, more undulating areas of Indochina and maintained more than a singular center of power. Welcome to our channel around the world with Dwa Mumtaz. Today we are going to explore Angkor National Museum, an archaeological museum dedicated to the collection, preservation and presentation of Angkoran artifacts, also to provide information and education about art and culture of Khmer civilization, with collections mainly dated from Khmer Empire's Angkor period circa 9th to 14th century. Most of the artifacts are discovered in and around the Angkor archaeological sites nearby. The museum is located in Siem Reap, Cambodia, on the way between downtown Siem Reap to Northern Road leading to Angkor Ancient City. If you like our informative video, please click the like button and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so you will receive timely notification whenever we uploaded new videos. Let's get started. Opened on the 12th of November 2007, the Angkor National Museum covers the golden era of the Khmer Empire, making use of audiovisual multimedia technology. The museum covers Khmer history, civilization, and cultural heritage in eight galleries. The museum has a strict no photos policy. The museum is owned and operated by Thai Vilayalik International Holdings, based in Bangkok. It is currently displaying archaeological objects borrowed from the Cambodian National Museum in Phnom Penh. Another source of artifacts is the Conservation Dangkor, a storage facility of some 6,000 pieces created by the École Française d'Extreme Orient in 1908 and currently in the hands of the Cambodian Ministry of Culture. The exhibits in this museum are arranged in flowing single direction through themed galleries. Audio guides are available at the entrance in Khmer language, English, French, German, Japanese, Chinese, Korean and Thai language. The galleries are, the briefing hall, before entering the galleries, visitors are invited to sit in an 80-seat theater for an orientation which will introduce the museum collections, galleries, and its amenities. Show times are scheduled for every 15 minutes and are available in seven languages, Khmer, Korean, Japanese, Chinese, English, French and Thai. Gallery of 1000 Buddha. The gallery displays Buddhism spiritual influence upon Cambodian people, from the ancient Khmer civilization to the modern Cambodia. The gallery contains the collections of Buddha statues and relics. Gallery A. Khmer Civilization. The gallery explains how the Khmer Empire was established, learn what drove the ancient Khmer to create colossal structures, their faith in their great kings and the history of the land. Gallery B, Religion and Beliefs, explains about religion and beliefs of Khmer civilization, including literary works, sculptures, architecture and daily life. Gallery C, Great Khmer Kings, the gallery displays the history about famous Khmer kings, such as King Jaivaman II, the king who united the two kingdoms of Chenla around 802 to 850. King Yasovaman I who established Angkor as the capital between 889 and 900. King Suryavaman II who built Angkor Wat circa 1116-1145 and King Jaivaman VII who built Angkor Tom circa 1181-1201 Gallery D, Angkor Wat, the gallery displays the history, spiritual concept and architectural technique of constructing the grand structure of Angkor Wat. It also explains the Angkor Wat's equinox phenomenon. Gallery A, Angkor Tom, the exhibit in this gallery displays about the construction and expansion of Angkor Tom. The changes in religious beliefs, also about ancient engineering plans for public utilities, such roads and large-scale irrigation projects to support the city's population. Gallery F, Story from Stone, the gallery displays stone inscriptions found throughout Angkor that recorded important historical events. Gallery G, Ancient Costume, the gallery displays the ancient Khmer clothing, jewelry and accessories illustrated by sculptures of gods, goddesses, and the Apsara celestial dancers. 
the name of the museum and its ownership has drawn controversy and criticism that it is foreign owned by thai enterprise and suspected primarily interested in turning a profit instead of a genuine cultural institution thus it can hardly be called national especially when cambodia already has its own national museum in phnom penh Another criticism is the majority of the Buddha's images in the gallery of 1000 Buddha loot in design to later Ayutthaya era in Thailand and have no aesthetic link with Angkor. The museum design also been criticized as taking form as a cultural mall. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. We will see on our next video and will explore Banti Kadi Prasad Banti Kadi meaning a citadel of chambers also known as citadel of monk cells is a Buddhist temple in Angkor, Cambodia. It is located southeast of Ta Prom and east of Angkor Thom. Built in the mid 12th to early 13th centuries AD during the reign of Jayavarman the 7th, who was posthumously given the title Mahaparamasangata Pada. It is in the Bayon architectural style, similar in plan to Ta Prom and Priya Khan, but less complex and smaller. Its structures are contained within two successive enclosure walls and consist of two concentric galleries from which emerge towers, preceded to the east by a cloister.